Welcome everybody to another episode of We Inspired. I'm in London's Brick Lane and I'm going to go into the Zaman Brothers uh, grocery store because their hospitality was top notch. We've been there before and we've collected a few things, uh, ingredients from the shop. So today is going to be uh, a, a nice vlog for you guys to enjoy hopefully. Um, we can't go to many places due to the lockdown. So what we thought is, me and Maru thought we would go and uh, cook something and give a treat to our friends and family. So hopefully we're going to do a fantastic dish and distribute it to a few friends and family so make sure you watch till the end and give me some like shares and make make sure you put in a few comments uh, hopefully we, um so give us some feedback and i think to myself what a wonderful brick lane it's really quiet here today well, there's someone brothers here These guys have got fantastic hospitality. Assalamu alaikum wa zabalani. So I've come in specifically to this shop to get some cellar basmati rice. So we'll see if they've got some. So let's see which one do you think we're gonna go for? Well you've got So you've got the Shima brand over here. Um, that's cellar rice. I'm looking for a p particular cellar rice because of it's a very long grain. Um, they've not got the brand which I normally go for, but uh, this one's on offer at 8.99. But I do use a brand called Lila, which um, is better quality rice. So I think I'm going to go for. Wait, so can I have the Lila, please? Uh, Lila, Sorry, this one, yeah. So. Um, Got a nice little story here. Um, I previously came into here. Um, they did uh, some unique meat, which is deer meat. I uh, bought it from here, venison. It was absolutely gorgeous dish. And uh, the gentleman behind the counter, he's actually watched the program and his children said they want to have it. So, Baisa, did you cook it? Yeah. yeah. Um, did, you, did you cook the meat? Yeah, yeah it, is, it was really nice. Yeah. How you cook it? In the recipe, I, I, I do it exactly like exactly this. Like All the children, yeah. they like it. Mashallah is very nice. So mashallah, what he said is he actually followed the recipe and the children really enjoyed it. So I'm well chuffed. So thank you very much, myself. <laughs> so let's go to the meat counter. What's this? The you want to throw away, mate? Uh, no, no, I'll, I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> so this. So this is the meat counter. It's a real deal. And we're going to get some... Today the recipe that I'm looking to do is actually chicken based. Um, so they've actually got so they've got the big chickens. Um, they have lamb. They have mutton. So, so this is the notorious butcher who was on our video before. Um, so he's going to tell us some of the prices. Prices. I got locked down today. I'm not worth money. I'm not four master price. Four ninety-nine for the park has been sold. One for one at two lona. I am ready to form us. Acha, mashallah. Ah, because the lockdown is. Because our short form is higher. The mashallah look after for balagi. Dam badai balagi na. Do to fare khoma yara. Khoma yara. Do yebu lebu la. I am ready. Inshallah, hol malase shop ta. Ena fase kono mal short na. Yeah. Ah, but tomorrow the customer kisu khoma ida. Ah, kisu customer I am ready. Gortone phone kori tar order dile. I am ready look after kori. Acha. I am ready home delivery o dey. Acha. I'd just like to say that uh, what he was going uh, to, um, t saying was they actually do home deliveries so they're less busier than normal uh, but they get quite a lot of orders over the telephone so if you're nearby around um, this area give them a call and the prices are fantastic and he's been trying to keep the price low as possible. Roasting that chicken. Look at that. It's kilo. 
ওন হরি নিলে জালাইয়া নিলে মানে খুব টেস্টি গো খাইতে ওকে খুব ভালো আচ্ছা डिफरेंट টেস্ট লাগে আর স্কিন অফ হরি নিলে আবার আরো डिफरेंट লাগে so this there's two sort of tastes to this yeah. one if you leave the skin on there's one type of taste exactly. take the skin off it tastes slightly different the reason being is when it's got the skin on it's got all that fat that gelatinous and when it goes into that sauce it's absolutely gorgeous so what he's done is basically just fire a blowtorch that all the hair is gone so there you go that fatty uh, taste from the skin builds a fantastic flavor and if you want to watch any ingredients with this type of chicken br the broiler chicken put it on the comment section and we'll cook a fantastic dish for you guys look at that beautiful so we're going to try out three kilos first Let's see if that's going to be enough should we do four kilos side has the limit so i think we're going to go for four and a half kilos uh brother shalim is doing a wonderful job here look at this He's scoring these so it's easier to cook. It's gone the extra mile. This is the service you get when you come here. Wow. Check the size of this. I was gonna say it's nearly as big as me. It's nearly as big as Latif. <laughs> Mashallah. Look at that size of that. So we're done here. We've got all our bits, inshallah. So we're in the car now, it's freezing cold outside. We've got all our ingredients and we're off to our kitchen. We're gonna to go to the kitchen and cook a lovely meal. Right, ladies and gentlemen, guess where we are? We're in the kitchen and we're gonna do some fantastic food. Today, the chef of the day is Mr. Maruf Mia. Here we are, trainee chef, trainee, trainee chef. chef, yeah. So we're gonna do a fantastic uh, yakni uh, pilau with chicken. So what we do, Maruf? So what we're doing today is we're gonna be treating some friends and family, um, especially with what's going on, all the COVID. No one's, you know, no one's feeling up for it. We thought, why not give them a nice little treat, let them enjoy it. Yeah, so you're gonna watch the chicken. So what we've got here, coriander, you got this. Yep, and here we are, we've got four and a half kilos of chicken. Yep. And needs a good wash and clean. You're going to get the bits out? Yeah, give it a bit of wash, clean it out with all the bits. You've got a tip for me, haven't you? This. With your thing, with your... This is how you clean it easily. Hey, so wait, yeah. let me find a piece that's good. See like that? You just squeeze your thumb in it and it comes out. So it's just like this, see? Uh, I remember, didn't you once you worked for the famous Colonel? No, 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 that was, that was my twin brother. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. So this is, this is the dirty bits that are coming out. Yep. There's about how many? About 25 bits of chicken here. Yep. So this is going to be a fantastic, that's a fantastic little tip there. Fantastic, Ahni. Look, so I think most of it's out. We're just going to give it a wash. Yep. And then yeah, you got your uh, you wanted to get your favorite uh, uh, cut of the chicken, which is the leg and the thigh. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Leg and thigh, definitely. Leg yeah. and thigh. We could have got whole of the chicken, but we got leg and thigh. The thigh is lovely, fatty uh, piece of uh, chicken rather than the breast where it gets a bit dry and tasteless. So we get in the nice little thigh and drumstick for hopefully a fantastic dish. Right guys, we've had a little treat uh, from a good friend of ours, especially Maruf, it's Hassan. He's, um, he's got a fantastic um, Instagram account, which he's just started up. It's called Patisserie Angeli, I think. Um, lovely cakes, look at them. Amazing cakes. And he's given us a piece to try. And this was freshly baked. Show these Maruf, bro. Whoa. Look how fat that slice is. Three tier, oh my God. Now, we're gonna share this. Let me pick it up. Oh, fluffy cake. Oh my dear Lord. Look at that, the size of, fantastic. <laughs> Come on, son. It's damaging a bit, but we're gonna share this slice. There, there you go. go. 
Outside yours because you lit your finger. Yeah. There you go. Look at that. Let's get this bit. Bismillah. Mmm. Yummy. Very nice. That's proper quality chocolate. Lovely cream. Gorgeous, mate. Are you washing the rice, Marufia? Yeah, it's freezing. My hands are freezing. Yep. Mate. But give it a bit of clean. Yeah. A bit of a healthier choice, eh, Maruf? Yeah, yeah. Healthier choice, mate. Gluten free. Gluten free? <laughs> Fantastic. So the rice is washed. So is the chicken. Everything's ready. This is all behind the scenes work. Right, putting some spices in, boiling the water. There's probably about 20 cardamom pods. One, about one and a half uh, teaspoon of clove. So that's about uh, two cinnamon stick, which is about six inches or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Somebody calling me. Off the peppercorn in. Ginger. Green chilies. Lots of garlic. It looks like everyone's gone swimming. Putting some onion in. About two handful. One green pepper. It's about six tomatoes. Now I need this to bubble away and then I'm going to add the chicken. The yeah, spices are coming to a boil, slowly. It's about four tablespoons of coriander powder. <coughs> some cumin about three tablespoons of cumin two tablespoons of salt and for a bit of spice one two tablespoons of chili powder. This is taking forever. Oh, look at the size of the dish. Okay, this it's taking a long time. That's huge. But I need the onions, the tomatoes, the garlic, all to soften up. And once it's softened up, I can mash it up. You know what I mean? Right, beautiful people, chicken's going in. See? Be very careful. Thank you. Wow, look at this eyes of this chicken 
thighs. Rest of the onions. Salt going in. About three tablespoons. Now we're taking out the chicken. Why are you taking out the chicken, Latif? Um, it's cooked now. Now what we're going to do? We're going to fry it on the onions. Uh, ah, okay. That's why Latif's the chef. <laughs> to the onions. The onions here. This is the ginger. Garlic. I've just added a tablespoon of cumin and about a tablespoon of coriander, about a tablespoon of chili, just for a bit of flavour. So I transferred all the yakni from this dish to here, sieved out all the good stuff. Uh, this is the stock. Put the rice into here and the chicken. That should be plenty. I'm just keeping a little bit. Now this needs to get cooked. Everything's ready. All right, let's have a look. Yo, look at that. Looks wonderful. Bubbling away. I don't want it to stick on the bottom. Ooh, lovely jubbly, mate. I'm gonna add some peas. Oh, wow, this is looking fantastic, mate. Right, guys, moment of truth. It's been cooking away, steaming away. Look at that steam coming out. Bismillah. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous, mate. Beautiful. This piece of thigh. I've got two thoughts. Huge bowl. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. So that was a really long day. 
I'm loving it, mm. loving it, loving it. This looks really good. Go on, taste Look it, bro. It's moment of truth. I, think that's how I, love. I don't need to say that. Latif's cooked, so <laughs> I hope you didn't take offense to it. <laughs> so let's see. Chicken is just breaking off nice and soft. So. Nice. Nice, yeah? That's nice. Fantastic. Look Subtle flavours. Yep. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, I'm I was getting a bit one. worried. Lux in it. Mm. Yeah? Fantastic. You sure, bro? Yeah. Okay, let's have a taste. Oh. <laughs> you can, you can. <laughs> bro, I don't think we can call an ambulance at this moment. No, it was good. Good, yeah? Yeah. Right, let's give yeah. it a try. All right, Latif. Get a bit of the chicken, a bit of the rice. Yeah. It's subtle flavours, not overpowering. If it was cooked with meat, it would have been more flavour because of the fat. It's a bit more healthier with the chicken, but that all the rice is um, coated in that sort of stock. So it's got very nice, subtle flavours. Beautiful dish. Um, yeah, I really enjoy it. And hopefully when we share, share it to our friends and family, they're going to enjoy it too. And I hope you enjoyed this vlog. We've got a massive pot over here. We're going to uh, put it on takeaway pots. We do, we'll show you. And if you've enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fantastic videos on We Inspired. Sorry we couldn't go to many places, uh, but we thought we'd go to East London collect this from a fantastic uh, grocery, <clears throat> grocery store and we've cooked this amazing dish. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you soon.